Hey. What? You awake? What? There are three things you have to know. One, it will follow you. Two, it could be anyone. It could be someone on the street. It could be a loved one. It could be Sarah Michelle Geller. <laughs> You're not going to be that lucky. And three, and most importantly, spoilers? There won't be! Oh! I'm Danny Nightmare. And I'm Gory B. Movie. Tonight, we're going to review It Follows. Mike and Monroe, who's being followed, kind of somewhat cursed by a demon who's constantly walking towards her and terrorizes her and her friends, who are, for the most part, no-name actors, but they do a pretty decent job. So uh, it has Keir Kilchrist in it. He was in United States of Terra. Yeah, he's really weird in this, though. He was weird in that, too. Yeah, but he didn't give you the vibe that he was going to, like, hump the leg while you were asleep. No, he gave me the vibe that he was going to hump my brother's leg. And the movie was uh, directed and written by David Robert Mitchell, who kind of gave it a 70s vibe. A lot of the soundtrack is just organ, keyboard music, like I would see in a lot of 70s horror movies. A lot of the camera angles reminded me of that. Almost every TV is outdated itself, plus everything on it seems like either a 70s type cartoon or newscast. Right, you got your 70s soundtrack, 70s clothes, the town kind of looks 70s-ish, it looks a little like Haddonfield from Halloween. You've got 70s cornflakes. Where did they find 70s cornflakes? That said, not everything looks in the 70s. This one girl has like this like, like shell Kindle that she's reading, reading books on. And uh, there's whiteboards, which I distinctly remember coming out in the 90s. I liked it. It brought back feel of the old, you know, 70s, early 80s horror movies that were a little bit more slower paced and really grew out to the suspense. Where it didn't work is I found myself where's wallowing the whole thing. I, I was constantly surveying the background to see if I could kind of pinpoint what year this was set in. And I came to the conclusion it's not really set in any year. It's kind of in some alternate, like, any future reality with the 70s come back hardcore. It was really distracting because you're looking at this stuff so much that it does take you out of the movie a little bit. The Mouse That Roared? I mean, it's a novel and it's a play, but they make a very interesting musical. I'm pretty sure it's never really met a movie before. If you watch this movie, you might not understand. What are you talking about? So, what is it? It certainly isn't Pennywise. It's, I, I, a demon isn't exactly what it is for sure, but that's something is like... It likes being naked a lot, too. Boobies. There will be. You got your man boobs. Zombie boobs. Mom boobs. Basically, there are a lot of boobs in this movie, but no boobs you can look at without gagging. One of the parts that confused me in this movie is it's randomly standing on a roof and it drops Dom. Don't go to this movie to see the Dom droppage. It's or just fiction. any other kind of nudity. <laughs> you, you don't want to see this nudity. Mom boobs. You were warned. You were warned. This whole movie is all about sex. Don't try to give me that whole, you just didn't get a thing. No, this movie's about sex. Kind of like in the same neighborhood as like Contracted, where they're talking about sex, but they're talking about it responsibly. The whole point of this movie is that sex comes with consequences. It was a nice take on it, but still probably the biggest horror cliche. Sex kills, especially if you're a teenager. This isn't a jump out of your seat scary horror movie, but it is genuinely creepy and disturbing. You find that you're thinking about the movie a lot after you've seen it, but I don't think this is one that's going to make you need to, like, sleep the nightlight or anything like that. No, I mean, there was a couple jump scares. However, I just, I felt tired for them because these people cannot relax. They cannot sleep. They have to constantly look over their shoulder, and, I mean, the action is slow, but it is very constant. What I think made It Follows really, really unique as a horror movie, as a person who is being followed in this, they're a victim, but they're also, in a way, sort of the killer, because they're choosing the next victim. So it, it was really interesting to see it from that, that angle. It kind of reminded me of The Ring of the You don't want to just, you're not passing it on for good. It will follow you back. 
Yeah, if it kills the person you cast it to, then it comes right back to you. So, whomever you choose, that person's life is forever changed. So, even just in that, in, in choosing the next person that is going to receive it, there are many consequences. And you want them to know that. You want them to know everything. You want them to survive. You want them to pass it on to somebody who will survive. You don't want to just give it to somebody that brings it right back to you. So, the real question is, if you got it, who would you give it to? Okay, I can't give it to an enemy because it would come back to me. And I can't give it to somebody I care about. Who would you give it to? Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel? One, mm -hmm. the guy's Bill. So, if it happens to catch up, there's a chance he'll make it. Two, the guy can drive really, really fast. So the movies and those late. movies go like all over the world, so he's probably got money. I would do Vin Diesel as he's in. Dude, catch a plane, go get one of your muscle cars, and you're going to be fine, dude. You're going to be fine, buddy. Plus, you know, he's got like Riddick skills. Yeah, he's got all those pitch black ninja skills. Wow, wow. So, composite Vin Diesel. Yeah, a composite of all of them. All of them. You need to throw some past fire action in there, too. I think that's going to help. Well, someone actually, I think, not me, but someone just needs to bang Forrest Gump. Jenny. <laughs> yeah, Forrest, not only do I have AIDS, but I have this demon that's sexually attracted to kill me if I don't have sex with someone else. So, I'll do you. Okay, Jenny. Now run, Forrest. Run! That thing's never going to catch him. Right? Forrest can run he fast. Can run. That will save everybody. So, should you spend your money going to see this movie? I think if you are a die-hard horror fan like us, you need to go see it, because it's a horror movie and everyone's talking about it. What are you doing watching this video? Go see the freaking movie. However, I think people looking for more of a higher-brow horror movie that doesn't have a lot of jump scares or isn't a big gore fest are going to really appreciate this. This is like an artsy horror movie, you know? They're making points. Not your typical grindhouse horror movie by any means. Yeah, it's all slow paced and like building with the suspense. There is a lot of suspense. If like, you're one of those jerks who was in the theater laughing and talking the whole way through Paranormal Activity when I saw that, stay home. Because you're going to hate this movie, okay? It's really slow. But it's good. And, and, whatever, you just don't get it. You just didn't get the movie. Over your head. It's over your head, man. It's over your head. It's actually really not that complicated. No. It's, it's about sex. If you're willing to work a little bit for your horror movie, fine. This movie is worth the price. Yeah. Them kids are dumb as shit, though. I have to say that. Kids be dumb. The whole time I kept going, really? That's your plan? Don't go up the stairs! Out the back door! <laughs> but other than that, it's still a good movie. I mean... How to take it? They're teenagers. Teenagers are dumb as shit. Teenagers. Sorry, dumb. teenagers, but you be. You be dumb. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Pass it on. Or it'll come for you. Let us know what you think. Are you planning to go see It Follows? Or have you already seen it and want to share what you thought of the film? Cut! Anything else I need to know? Uh, stay away from your parents. Alright. There are just some things you don't need to experience. Ouch. And the thing is, it's slow, but it's not stupid. Oh, hey, Ronnie. Who are you talking about? Ronnie. Ronnie Angel. There's nobody there. You don't see him? See who? Oh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> nice.